Have you been feeling flat and uninspired lately? Do you find yourself doing the same things without thinking? Do you feel numb or easily overwhelmed? Do you dread the day ahead because there's nothing fun to look forward to? Well, if yes, then it's possible that you are on autopilot mode. Autopilot is a coping mechanism adopted by our brain to protect us from life's stressors. While autopilot can have adaptive advantages, like allowing us to function without expending too much energy on routines, it can also be maladaptive meaning that it hinders our thought processes and gets in the way of us achieving our goals. A habitual lifestyle is not necessarily unhealthy, but too much of it can distract you from finding a purpose. And in this video, I'll be discussing three ways you can take care of it. But first, if you're new to this channel, welcome. I'm Jordan Travers. I'm a licensed clinical psychotherapist and the clinical director of Awake Therapy. If you're interested in learning more about the Awake Therapy team or me, you can click on the link in the description. If you're in need of psychological or emotional support, feel free to book an initial consultation with one of our therapists by visiting www.awaketherapy.me. Okay, so let's jump right into it. First things first. The first thing you can do to step out of autopilot mode is to try to update your morning routine. Most of us find ourselves starting our day by looking at our mobile phones. We hit the snooze button a few times, then jump right into our inbox to check our email or our social media accounts. You may think this is helping you to wake up, but really it's just jarring you from your morning calm and creating a more stressful state. Instead of falling into temptation of an early morning phone check, consider having a morning ritual to release trapped emotions. This ritual can be anything that allows you to be your real self and start the day slowly. For example, you can stretch your body the moment you wake up, you can watch the sunrise, take a stroll in the garden, meditate, or have an enjoyable cup of coffee or tea. Mindfulness can help you bring your focus to the present moment. It's one way to help you sit with your thoughts, accepting them for what they are, and gently correcting them as needed. Being mindful in the morning is a great way to tune into yourself before stepping into the chaotic world. The second thing you can begin to implement into your day is setting a daily intention. One of the best ways to promote happiness is to align your actions with your values and goals. Focus on how you want your future to look like and set specific, realistic goals to get you there instead of taking huge leaps. Start with baby steps. Set an intention for the day, every day, that takes you closer to your personal vision of how you'd like your life to be. And this could be anything. It's important to remember that things might not come to you as easily as you had hoped or would have liked. And in these cases, acknowledge that it takes time to change. Remind yourself to focus on your progress and not perfection. Take the time to reflect on how much you've grown from where you were in between to where you want to be. The more you set your sights on achieving your life's purpose, the easier it is for you to break out of an over-reliance on autopilot mode. And lastly, the third way you can switch yourself out of autopilot mode is by taking an adventurous detour. One of the ways in which we most often fall into autopilot mode is through having repetitive routines. Break the monotony, change your routine and spice it up. Embrace unexpected occurrences. This can benefit your thoughts, mental health, and physical health. Taking an adventure will force you into the present moment. It forces you to engage your brain actively and it helps to make you feel more alive. An adventure doesn't need to be fancy either. It can be anything that gives your mind new perspective and sensations, such as spending time with friends, joining a sports team, taking up a new hobby, going to a new place for coffee, visiting a museum, or even just driving somewhere you've never been before. In conclusion, too much autopilot can leave us feeling dull and disconnected. To re-engage your mind, you can try one, starting your morning without technology, two, setting a daily intention that aligns with your actions, and three, seek out some variety to expose your mind to new sensations and perspectives because novelty is fun. Thanks for watching. I hope you found today's content helpful. Make sure to subscribe to receive updates when a new video is posted. And remember, platforms like YouTube are a wonderful resource for getting information out to others. However, it does not take the place of individualized psychotherapy. If you need mental health assistance, whether to talk through a current issue or to create a more prosperous and fulfilling life, you could book a session or an initial consultation using the link in the description. I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye.